I'm Fire675 and welcome back to my Firefall guides. Today's guide I'm going to talk about leveling. Um, in Firefall compared to a lot of other different uh, MMOs um, there's no quote-unquote account level. Um, some other shooter games uh, that have classes, uh, say Nosgoth for example, they have an overall level guide, uh, overall character level and then they've got class levels as well. In Firefall, you only have one character. Um, you can modify them as much as you want, and I may make another guide about uh, modifications, uh, visual modifications. Um, but you can you can change your race, you can change your sex, you can change a lot of different things, um, not just uh, you know headwear and eyewear and stuff like that. You can even change the voice of your character. Um, so there's no real need to create a second character other than if you wanted to make a different character with a different name but right now that's really not an option uh, unless you want to make a whole second account um, which can be done um, but uh, your account that you tie to your steam account uh, you can only have one uh, account there as far as I know so uh, when you level when you gain experience uh, if you look at the bottom bar um, this is a brand new frame. This is actually my last frame that I have to, uh, to level from zero. Um, so that's the way your, your XP bar starts out. Zero XP out of 1300. And that's for uh, progressing from level one to level two uh, of the current frame. You can see up in the top left hand corner here, there's your frame icon and then here's your current frame level. Um, when you gain experience, the experience goes to your current frame. There's no overarching uh, experience pool. Uh, so for instance, I'll go to the battle, battle frame station here and I'll show you my, my other frames that I have. And they've got, you know, different levels. Uh, my fire cat is the only one I've got topped off at this point. But as you're wearing these different battle frames, the experience that you gain goes into that current battle frame that you have. Um, so that's the way uh, experience works in this game. Now, when you just start out, you're a brand new player, there's going to be some guided questing um, that, that goes on. Basically, the game will give you uh, highlighted waypoints, um, which look like uh, let me just do this for example. They're going to look something like that. This yellow marker here. Uh, basically you just follow along the uh, preordained quest line uh, to start. You can skip it. Um, actually in when you uh, after you do it once, whenever you start a new battle frame, you won't have that again. Um, because that's that's for new players and it's important that you actually go through that quest line because uh, not only do you gain some uh, rudimentary experience with uh, glider flying um, with following way, uh, way markers but it also rewards you with a scan hammer um, and that's the only way you can you can get uh, the scan hammer is by going through that quest line eventually it'll send you out uh, into the uh, accord common thumping area which is out here uh, where they've got two accord thumpers that, that go non-stop and that's where you, uh, you I believe you get that scan hammer so it's important that you go through that um, after you've gone through that and if you're starting a brand new uh, frame uh, like, like this minty fresh mammoth um, you can start by down going down here to the job boards and you know it's it's a good introduction in how to, to follow a quest line. You can choose any of these. Once you've got a check mark, that means you've finished the quest line um, on another frame, and that's no big deal. Um, there's limited numbers of quests um, at each of these job boards, so it gets a bit repetitive after um, after your second frame going through. Um, having said that. There's a lot of uh, later quest lines that I haven't finished yet, even though I've gotten a frame to level 40. So after you've gone through the initial uh, guided quest line, my suggestion, instead of doing these Ares 
uh, job boards over here for the low level. Head out into this area. Um, there's two good areas that spawn world events. This is a good area. You'll get a lot of LGVs and uh, down thumpers, crash thumpers. Uh, and those are super fast, super easy to do. Um, and they they give you a ton of XP uh, for, for a small amount of effort. Um, out here, there's a bunch of uh, LGVs and down thumpers out here as well. So we're going to focus on doing world events and uh, doing Ares missions, if you see anything up. Okay, so I made my way out here. I started out here in Copa, and I saw there's a, a cluster of world events and Ares missions out this way. Now it's important that you look um, and you take a look up in the left hand corner, it'll tell you recommended level. Um, and you can see by the, the outline, the left hand side of the outline circles here. If it's yellow, uh, that's it's good to go. Um, you you want to, you'll get good experience from uh, yellow shaded uh, events. Um, if you've got something red like this, it's going to be out of your level range, likely, and um, you're probably not going to get much XP from doing those missions. So stick with the yellows. Um, so I flew from over there to over here. So we're going to start with this uh, the LGV here. Now. When you activate these LGVs, one of two things happens. Uh, first thing that could happen is it, it could just blow up. Um, and that sounds bad, but it's actually good because you don't have to do anything else and you get experience. So let's see what happens here. Yep. So I just got 4600 XP for clicking on that. So I'm almost halfway through level 1 just for clicking on that LGV. Um, and you're, if you're at low levels, you may want to stick around and uh, work out the LGB. Uh, it's basically a protect mission. Um, as you sit there, things will try to attack. And uh, you have to defend. It's about two minutes, I think, is a defend time. And if you make it through that, it's great. You get XP and your, your mission's over. You get to move on to the next one. Um... If it doesn't pop like that, you can just move on. The, uh, the enemies will destroy it, and uh, that'll be that. Um, either way, you know, they're good experience. So I saw there was an Ares mission up here. This is core command. And I'll show you the icon. This icon is an Ares mission. Um, sometimes it tells you what's going on there, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so I'm just going to head in here, take my time walking through, um, and I usually explain to you, oh, never mind, oh, yeah, there we go, what's going on. So I need to find the Accord data pad, and they'll usually give you a highlighted waypoint inside here that you have to get to. Let me see, can you give me one? I just need to, need to look for it. And it's usually kind of near where that icon is. Here we are. So that's why I need to get to. I need to get to that thing. Without getting shot up here too bad. Now, data pad missions, Ares missions, are excellent for leveling. For two reasons. For one, they're fairly easy to do. And for two, um, once you get the data pad, if you see any other consoles on the way out, make sure you stop and uh, activate the consoles, because that's a ton of extra experience uh, for free. The bad side is, once you pick up the data pad, you can't shoot anything. <laughs> so, you have to sh use your shoot button, and uh, it'll throw it. And that's a skill we'll learn. Uh, important a little bit later with the crash dumpers. Okay, so here, uh, it'll tell you how many extra terminals are sitting around. Um, it'll be, you know, between zero and usually, I think, three is the most I've ever found on one of these missions. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's very important that you, um, that you activate it, because you get a nice chunk of XP. Now, get that to the 
the ARC folder outside. Probably level me up. Oh, close. Along the way. 5400, so just for uh, doing data. that. Alright, so I said that there was only one left, so that's the only one in here, so I don't have to search around for any more data pads. Now I just need to get out and put in the ARC folder. Now, in any of these missions, these Ares missions, there's usually um, enemies that spawn outside, like a welcoming committee. Um, and that goes for the uh, data pad ones, it goes for the uh, retrieve supplies, anything that you go into, like a cave or a building, um, and you need to come out, they're, they're usually, uh, they usually do that to you. So that's fun. So just be uh, just be aware of that, and don't come out low health expecting just to, to run and do it. Bing! Level 2. Look at that, that's 12k for that little Ares mission. So you can see, uh, world events, Ares missions, um, they're, they're excellent ways to level, especially in low levels, because you there's not much running back and forth you have to do. A lot of the job boards, you have to go here, collect this, come back, possibly go to another location, come back, go over there, come back. So there's a lot of walking, travel in between um, chunks of experience that you're getting. And honestly, the, uh, the XP gain for those um, regular job board missions, they're comparable um, as far as uh, the awards you get from Ares missions and from world events. So it doesn't make much sense to me at low levels to uh, to go for job boards. So if that's done, let's take a look, see who else is around. You know, there's another LGB. So all I did there on my map is I just double clicked on the map and it sets a waypoint on the map, which shows up uh, um, as, a, as a visual marker here in the world, which is neat. It's nice. It's it's uh, if you're in a squad and you're a squad leader, when you do that, you can put down a squad waypoint so everybody on your in your squad can see uh, what waypoint you set. So that's helpful as well. So we'll see if this LGV blows up or if it uh, starts the countdown. Okay. So that's giving me the quest for the um, stand and defend. And I can do that, but there's another one over here. So instead of hanging around here, granted you get XP for killing the enemies, um, and you get XP for completing it, but if you're trying to level up quickly, just move on to the next one. Sometimes if you're lucky, someone else will come along, um, finish off the... Uh, the quest, and you actually get experience for it too. It's nice when it's a, it's a busy place. Right. That one didn't blow up either, so let's move on. Crash Thumper. Now, Thumpers are excellent. Um, crash Thumpers are excellent because they're so easy. Uh, once I activate this, a repair bot will show up, and pieces of this thumper will go flying everywhere. All you have to do is collect five pieces and the thumper's repaired and you get you finish that little mini quest. So you go find a thumper piece, activate it. <clears throat> now when I was talking about the data pad before we're throwing it, this is where it's nice. Um, a lot of starting players will walk right back up here and touch it and it gets that piece added on. You can see uh, one out of five parts. And you get a little time extension too. The, the fastest way to do this is to grab it, walk back, aim up a little bit, and shoot. And it throws it. And as long as you get it fairly close to that thumper, it'll add on uh, as a repair. Instead of wasting your time walking all the way up and walking all the back, once you get used to uh, the distance and the arc of your throws, you don't have to walk all the way back. Another thing I've seen people do is to put a, uh, a glider pad uh, near the thumper. So after you uh, bring your piece back, you can just hit the glider pad and you can jump back out quickly to grab the next piece. So 
update. Easy peasy. And I leveled up. <laughs> so, as you can see, world events, um, Ares missions, uh, they're the way to go uh, for a low level. Uh, up to level 5. Um, and I will pick it up at level 5. So just keep your eye on your map, uh, your overhead map. See where they are. Uh, double click. Sometimes if you double click on it, it won't put your marker on it, so you may have to double click off to the side to set your waypoint. And just go around hitting these missions. Uh, very simple. And when you get to level 6, we're going to go up here to Northern Shores. Okay, so I got up to level 5. Um, by mainly doing crash thumpers and LGVs over in this area. Uh, but they can spawn randomly anywhere uh, within this bay area here. That's all considered COPA um, level 1 to 5 area. <clears throat> so a lot of people don't hit these because they're close to northern shores and they don't realize they're up here. So that, that's a good area to go hunting for world events. <clears throat> so I'm level 5 um, and now I see this crash thumper up here. And crash thumpers, like I said before, are the easiest ones to do. Uh, and it says recommended level seven and a half. My last crash thumper I did was a, was a level three recommended, and I got about 10k Crashed worth of experience. Detected. So <clears throat> this is going to spawn enemy as a little bit higher level, um, but it should be worth more experience. And we'll see if it's worth it at level five to do a level seven and a half uh, uh, mission. Not to mention, these are super quick, super fast. You can usually do them under a minute after you get good at them, uh, depending on the placement of the parts. <clears throat> and it also helps um, if you have a teammate. Because if they're grabbing and throwing, you do all these missions in half the time and you get full experience. And if you complete these repairs under a certain time period, you get different tier rewards, which is probably more uh, Christite and probably, you know, uh, a better chance at a good item. To receive tier one award. So level threes for giving me 10k experience. This gives me 11.5. So <clears throat> not bad. Uh, it's a little bit more experience. Um, the enemies that I'm killing are giving me 22 experience per kill. So if you can find a a, a group out here. Uh, a cluster of world events, it might not be a bad idea to move on out uh, away from the level 3's. Okay, so as expected, I uh, hit level 6 and all the missions down here in Copacabana turn green because they're outside my level range now. Uh, they're basically trivial uh, to a level 6. And you can see the 7.5 level is now yellow, so that's in the uh, the good experience range where I want to be. Um, now when I was level 5 and I did one of these 7.5s, I got 11, 11k worth of experience. So we'll pop this out quick and we will see what I get for this now that I'm level 6. So it still gave me about 11k. Um, and the XP is the same for uh, enemy kills. So if you wanted to move up uh, earlier from level 5 over to this area, you could. You're going to get higher level equipment. As a side note, when you're out in this area, uh, it's level 6 to 9 area, and you see a Culex, which are these guys, or oh, that's even a boss. Um, 
Anytime you see a boss, take him out, because you can actually get decent loot. I've gotten purples, I've gotten blues off of uh, boss mobs, and they're really not that much more difficult than anything else uh, in this game. Uh, so just power him down. Um, but anytime you see a Culex, which are, uh, you know, he'll probably spawn a few of these guys after he dies. They're little flying mosquito guys. Make sure you take them out. Um, they are worth, well, he was worth 200 experience. But look at these little guys. They're worth almost 70 experience, well, more with my bonus. Uh, compared to uh, the Aranias, which are only worth like 22. And they don't have much more health, and they're easy to hit. So, um, yeah, take them out anytime you get a chance. So now I just hit level 7. Um, I'm looking at the map, and there's not a whole lot going on for world events. There's this crash thumper over here, which would be good experience, but there's not a whole lot going on up here. Um, you can do a little exploring. You can go out and uh, hit that sin beacon out there if you want. Um, by the way, that's, um, that's an important thing. Whenever you get to a new location, always go to the sin tower, which are these things, uh, the uplinks, and make sure you uh, interact with that. That will uh, open up your map so it looks like mine. Uh, so it's like a radar, if you will, uh, of events and things that are happening in the area. Um, if you can't find any world events going on at this time, uh, you can either drop a thumper uh, to get experience, or actually these job boards here uh, for the Northern Shores, um, they're, they're okay, they're kind of fun, um, but the important thing about doing those is after you complete missions for job boards you get vouchers uh, for the different areas um, so I said Northern Shores voucher I've got 63 left over um, the Northern Shore Shores vouchers are nice because this guy right here this supplier he sells some pretty uh, nice abilities uh, he, he sells green uh, level 7 abilities and for a little bit more he sells uh, level 9 blue abilities. Now if you're on a tier 2 suit, this is excellent for you because there's one ability for every class here. So there's going to be uh, one ability for your tier 2 um, specialty suit and there will be a, uh, a, a level 9 blue for the tier 1 suit that your um, suit is based off of. So here for the rhino, um, or sorry, the mammoth, uh, there's a, a blue shield wall that I could buy um, and there will be a, uh, let's see, explosive rounds for Dread. So uh, at, at level 9, I could possibly have two blues, which gives me six slot module slots to fill, which gives you a, a very large uh, potential um, power level boost, which increases uh, the damage you do with your primary weapon and also uh, melee weapon uh, and secondary weapon. Um, so. There, there is uh, a good reason to do these job boards. If you're here and you can't find anything else to do, uh, this is just somebody thumping. Um, so that, that's an option as well. Um, these missions out here, there's a little bit of travel, but all these missions are locked in here until you get to level 9 or level 10, then it may send you out to thump dump. So just keep pounding on your world events here. Uh, take job missions in between uh, if nothing else is spawning and uh, just power through this level uh, and get up to level 9 okay so you've hit level 9 or level 10 um, I just finished level 10 doing an Ares mission up in this area um, now as you can see by the map the North Shores area is ranked for level 6 through 9 so if you're level 9 or you're level 10 um, it, it, you can start moving on uh, up towards Thump Dump. Um, before you leave though, take a look at this vendor and make sure you don't have uh, enough of these uh, these vouchers, uh, North Shores vouchers, to buy either a blue ability or uh, at least a green level 7. So now we're gonna, we're gonna traverse uh, North Shores up to Thump Dump uh, you can just uh, walk or take your bike or glider, whichever way you want to go. Um, go up through this area and up this road here. Keep your eyes out for uh, Ares missions and keep your eyes open for um, other world events, um, crash thumpers and LGBs um, and bandits, uh, downed bandits. Um, again, world events are going to be your bread and butter uh, on your way up to Thumb Dump.